Bill has not gone through kind of any of the major milestones that people tend to go through in their life from high school to after university. He's not moved out of his father's house, he's not got a job, he's never really had a girlfriend. And during the span of the movie, Will does all those major milestones uh, happen to Will in the span of about two hours that normally would happen over a period of years. So he moves out of his father's house and he falls in love with a girl and tries to get a job and then inevitably kind of asks himself, who am I and what is my place in the world? Well, I really started looking at um, conditions like Asperger's syndrome and, uh, and autism and cases where people are, people who are not so autistic that they necessarily need to be institutionalized, but they have enough of a case of autism that it's, that it um, inhibits them in, as far as just doing day-to-day -day normal things. And that really just opened up a lot of possibilities as far as the way the story could play out with this character who is uh, in many ways quite brilliant but can't really function in a normal society. My own kind of psychological diagnosis of him was that he had intense social anxiety but also, you know, I think the the autistic spectrum, I think, is about 1 to 50, and I think if you're at 32, you're considered to have autistic tendencies, and um, I put him at about 32. Action! <sighs> that guy swung at me last night. Please. Right now, he's getting the, the top of his head and making the top of his head. Are you wearing a sparkly shirt too? What? When Film Nova Scotia and Telefilm had this program to allow you to do your first feature, I think what I did was I brought with it a background as a director because technically I had done it before, but I hadn't done it at that level as far as working with a crew. Like when I say that I have, I have made feature length movies before, it's kind of just been me with a handycam, more or less. Me and handycam and actors, right? My own editing software. The goal of it, at least in my understanding, was to give first time directors and producers an opportunity to direct and produce a feature film. But in addition to that, it also attracted everybody else on the set. Was It was their kind of first opportunity to do their job in a feature. I've never been the lead of a feature movie, but it was a little bit their chance to prove what they could do if given the responsibility of doing their job in a feature film. So the energy on the set was really good. Everyone was kind of bringing their A game to the to their respective spheres of, of work. For myself, it was just a wonderful opportunity to to be given that kind of a, a chance to have a character who has a really interesting arc that has a big trajectory in terms of his emotional state. One of the things that really attracted to me about casting Reese as well was just that he had such a uh, he had such a passion for wanting to create this character it wasn't just uh, it wasn't just ah yeah we know we'll do the movie you know he, he just he really had a lot of respect for who the character was and I, that to me just gave me a lot of confidence giving that role to him.